Hello Internet, welcome to tutorial number 15, the usage of trace graph to analyze output of NS2 files. Uh, I highly recommend all of you to watch uh, tutorial number 12 and 13 where I create a wired simulation and a wireless simulation. Um, in this particular tutorial, we are going to analyze the output of the wired simulation that we created in tutorial number 12 and we are going to see how trace graph can help us in plotting the output between various parameters so that is going to be the agenda so let us start I'm in my terminal window and I've got both the files wired and wireless that we created in tutorial number 12 and 13 here in this folder before um, I have already executed this uh, wired.tcl file in the previous tutorial so the output files are, are already made so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete the output files and let me run the simulation again now this simulation is important because uh, we have two kinds of traffic one is UDP and another one is TCP from um, originating from node 0 and 1 respectively however I can see that we do not have any packet loss at node 2 and 3 there is no queuing at node 2 and 3 so let us change uh, the simulation a bit because I want some packets to get lost in node 2 and 3 so let's make this 1 let's make this 1 Uh, from 2 to 3 I would keep the 10 3 to 4 I'll keep it as 10 I'll keep it as 10 alright mm, I'm gonna have to run these simulation again now you can see some packets are being dropped because I want to show you how trace graph can actually help us in analyzing the drop in the packets and so on and so forth let us let us run this simulation for its own sweet time now please understand uh, trace graph is is going to take outdoor trace as its input file all right let us see now We've got out of NAM and out of trace files ready with us. Now, from this point onwards, I would want uh, all my viewers to note um, down the steps if they're using trace graph for the first time. So you need to go to the folder where the trace graph folder is located. In my case, it is 
the tracecraft folder is located in my home folder so in my home folder I've got tracecraft 202 so I'll go to that folder and I would run this uh, file to get graph the syntax is dot slash tr graph alright so this file is running just fine however when you want to analyze an output file you would need to specify the path of the output file too for example now I want to specify home and tutorial tutorial 15 and then my out dot trace file now you three you see three windows on the screen let me just explain you the first window now the first window is very important this trace graph window tells you um, about uh, the packet type and the packet size at node 0 we are selecting the node 0 as the current node and it tells you what all entries can you put in here you can put 0 to 5 here because we we had 6 nodes in total in our simulation scenario so uh, this also tells you the start and the end time and the flow and the source and what kind of a traffic it was it was a UDP traffic um, and CPR was the application layer traffic so if I put it as one so it again tells you that CBR and flow is from 1 to 2 if I do it as 3 it again tells you what all things are happening so next we need to go to uh, network information window this information is this information window will show us the information of the node that we currently select here so if I select a zero here and then if I go to the network information window what I do is automatically refresh information I have a whole gamut of information here uh, see uh, I have clicked uh, I have clicked on five options on I have clicked on five options on network information drop-down menu and the first uh, first choice gives me simulation information the simulation length the number of nodes sending nodes and all packet dropping nodes this is very important uh, we also saw that our packets were dropping at node 2 now this is current node information this is the information of node 0 that we have selected here uh, I'm going to place this window here if I, let me see if I can resize it yes I can so just just look at this combination here uh, I've got uh, this small window which tells you that the current node is zero and the current node information tells me that 125 packets were generated 125 packets were sent and so on and so forth and then it tells you simulation end-to-end -end delays in 
minimum delay maximum delay average and average number of intermediate nodes for the whole network intermediate nodes were um, node 2 and 3 if you remember now if I change the current node to be 1 this is where uh, the packet generated are different because it was generating TCP based traffic so things have changed here and things would change here also uh, if I put it as node 2 which is one of the routing nodes okay that is where this guy was not generating any packet this was uh, this guy was just forwarding packets and it received 601 and dropped 29 packets so that is how these two windows are uh, related to each other so uh, you can find a lot of information here regarding uh, what all happened in, in those 10 seconds of simulation time but uh, the most important would be this window uh, this option window where we can plot graphs for various options so as uh, we'll go to 2d graphs and you can see a lot of options there a lot of options there um, you can plot the graphs of throughput packet size versus minimal throughput average throughput maximal throughput jitter and there are um, a wide range of options here if you go to throughput there are numerous options inside throughput also so let me just um, plot one graph here I guess the network did not show any uh, jitter uh, let me just select node 4 here now selecting node 4 would mean sense throughput of receiving packets at current node now this would make sense because node 4 was our receiving node so th this this is telling you the simulation time and this is telling you the throughput of receiving packets at node 4 number of packets uh, so if I change this to uh, 5 and then I plot the 2D graph of throughput so this is different this is different for TCP based traffic so that is how you can plot um, uh, one important thing would be packet size versus uh, delay alright now let me just change this thing here to 1 ok so you see a particular value of minimal end to end delay and throughput of sending bits and similarly you can plot 3d graphs also um, th this is more uh, more of a graphical representation of what happened uh, during the simulation for example uh, let's take number of sent bytes at all the nodes so this is going to show you that node 0 was the one uh, we started sending out packets and node 1 sent, sent out a lot of packets in our simulation so I guess there is some rendering problem here I'll have to restart it again pardon me uh, 
okay let me just restart it again okay uh, so dropped packets at all nodes so this is going to show us that most of our packets were dropped at node 2 so all this information 3d information 2d information plots between two different parameters can be drawn uh, using trace graph and uh, I hope this tutorial helped and uh, you just try to uh, figure out more and more uh, options by by implementing complicated networks and trying to plot uh, uh, the output parameters uh, if this tutorial helped click on the like subscribe and don't forget to share have a nice day bye bye